Hello everyone, Pallytum here, and welcome back to Crab Champions. In today's video, we're using the Orb Launcher. I don't know if anyone else is a fan of Pokemon, but if you've ever seen water types, you're probably pretty familiar with the ability Bubble Beam. Well, that's what we have as a weapon now. <laughs> if we left click, it's a pretty widespread where you can right click to zoom it in a little bit. And of course, get all the benefits that right clicking can give weapons. It's fairly accurate, even when hip firing. But as you can see, that spread does get a little gnarly. So anything that messes with our accuracy could send our bullets flying. Our key totem item for today is Dagger Blast. Grenades explode into a cluster of daggers. That's what all of those bouncing projectiles were. So no increase for our weapon but still a pretty decent way of dealing damage getting our run underway if you guys enjoy the content make sure you hit that thumbs up button i've been dealing with pc trouble for what feels like months now but through a crazy amount of troubleshooting we finally narrowed it down it was a bad primary ram slot Ooh, dagger arc fires daggers along with my shots we have daggers on grenades daggers on my shots <laughs> It was a bad primary RAM slot that has been replaced, and I am just so pleased that it's no longer a problem. I'm going to risk it on round one. Coin flip. Do I get more health or less? Less. More. Less. Less. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. Doubled it. <sighs> Three HP, huh? Well... <laughs> Well, that's basically a thousand, right? As long as you don't take any damage, it doesn't matter. Let me make sure I'm throwing my grenade relatively often. I also don't think I'm going to be breaking any rocks anytime soon. Let's keep kiting around <laughs> and try to be at least a little safe. Our damage really isn't that bad, especially when the daggers proc. I think they're on a cooldown, so it may not even be a proc. It may not even be a proc chance. How are we gonna fix our health? How are we gonna do that? Money shot, small crystals are gold coating. Oh, I didn't get it here. There's an economy, I'm gonna get money shot because we shoot pretty quick. There's an economy chest or an economy perk or weapon mod, I don't remember which, but it gives you crystals based off of your current combo. I always just kind of writ that off, wrote that off. I, I never really thought about it because, you know, my combo usually isn't that great. I genuinely take a lot of damage all of the time. However, even without your combo scaling, it gives you 40% increased crystals. And I never realized that. I got two levels of that and in one, this is it right here. Enemies drop more crystals depending on your current combo. So I have a two combo right now. I think that means I'm getting a 40% increase in crystals right now because I'm level two. Uh, let's go for damage. We need to keep our damage high. So far, so good. Will I be able to stay alive during the survival mission? I guess let's find out together. 40 seconds to stay alive. Let's see if we can make it happen. Now, because we already have a combo built up, we could see this money start to scale out of control if I'm able to get kills, but let's not forget I have 3 HP. We're going to need to really focus on staying alive. It's also fairly early in the run, so most enemies are just dropping one crystal anyway, it seems like. So, I don't know, maybe it's not good yet. But literally, we we finally did it, by the way, over on Holly Stream. We got to round 120, not once, but twice. And literally, that crystal combo funded my entire run for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of extra crystals. I am truly a believer. Okay, this is the end of my PSA. That's it. We'll stop talking about it. Next chest is Aura Shot, Uppercut, or Ultra Shot. Aura Shot sounds very cool. With the fact that we are already shooting bubbles of damage, we're essentially just making the bubbles a little bit larger. If we can bait for a glue shot somehow, that would be excellent. Uh, crystals in the back. I don't need any healing, thankfully. I'm not trying to break the heal yet, though. Um, what do we got? All you can eat. No ammo used for a short time after eliminating an enemy. Ultra shot or aerial shots. Do I have enough? I'll get both of these and call it a day. So we finally have 53 HP. Oh my goodness. 
healed back up to full, and the run continues. Uh, that mod we just picked up, this thing right here, all you can eat is one of the best ammo efficiency mods in the video game. And there's a lot of ammo efficiency mods. This is basically the one that you're hoping for, and once you get it, you swap out the other ones. So look at my ammo right now. As you can see, we are using something now, but after, if we're just focusing on the small trash mobs, they just become cannon fodder. Like we never have to stop shooting. We just completely rip them apart. Fire on the ground is never any fun. Perfect grenade onto the far skull though. Who's left alive? Hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. With any luck, we'll get a glue shot in this chest. We have recoil, clip, and damage combo. Are we gonna go for the combo build? I mean, we could. I took damage that round, but shots deal more damage, but recoils heavily increased. That's terrible. Shots deal more damage for each bullet remain. Hey, that could be good if we're freezing our ammunition high. That means we could lock in a higher portion of damage. Damage increased by one for each bullet remaining up to a max of 25 bullets. So as long as our all you can eat kicks in above 25, we're getting the maximum damage bonus. That's actually good. Uh, is it kicking in right now? Yes, it is. So as long as I keep shooting that, oh God, as long as I keep moving and don't die so I can shoot, this should be a pretty decent combo. I've never done this combination before. Very interesting. We have a green, oh shit, one HP and a dream. Here we go. Let's kite to the back so I can actually see everything going on around me. We do have some elites on the left, but that grenade took care of most of them. Some more poison coming our way, but we clutched it back down to the very familiar one HP. Next round's gonna be a survival. Targeting shot? What is my luck? Why do I have so many epics already? Well, I can't do that one, so we're gonna do speed. Uh, targeting shot is kind of like homing shot. My bullets will seek out enemies. However, I have to, ooh, cave. I have to um, actually hit those enemies first. It doesn't just uh, send them out with each bullet. So I have to make contact with an enemy and then that happens. Look at that. That fire damage is from a rock that we broke. My ammunition is not depleting and I'm just gonna keep Sending ev ooh, that's a skull on the right. I'm gonna keep sending everything down range. This is a beautiful mode to get this cave on because it's a survival level. Every single one of these enemies has to get to me. Our density is through the roof and we can farm potentially a crazy amount of money here, especially with the perks that we have found so far. 15 seconds remaining as the crabs are still making their way over to me. And we just broke a thousand crab dollars for the first time this run. My economy is really good. I, I mean, our chests are, I am poisoned, but it's only vulnerability, right? Still one HP. <laughs> uh, all right, so speed, what are we going from speed? Melee cool air reduction, faster reload. We don't really reload or more dashes. I'll take the dashes. Then we also have fast claws, knockback shot, or supercharge. That's a fire rate increase, just upping our DPS already. Speaking of DPS. Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Danger close or money shot, damage increase to nearby enemies. These are 162 each. I'm gonna buy the money shot to keep our economy scaling. Bronze hearts to heal up my HP. Uh, max health increased after every 10 close range elim eliminations. Damage increased to distant enemies. Gemstone damage increased after clearing each island. That's gonna be half of our money, but I think that's worth it. Bronze heart, shield, ice shot, or damage grenade. Ice shot could be great, and it kind of sticks with the bubble theme that we have going already. What's our proc chance on this? Only 2%, but that's 2% per orb that we're firing, right? So there's a chance it'll hit. I think I might be a little too broke for this, but we have these crystals in the back that we can break now to make our sharp shot dreams a reality. And we increase our flat damage a little bit. First boss is here, let's bring it to him. What do you got for me, bud? No freeze, I see. 
He is a fire skull after all, though. This guy is very deadly, by the way. Don't sleep on this dude. That fire he leaves on the ground can be devastating. I think he's trying to do it right now. I don't really know his animation super. There it is. This is a problem. And it just chases you for a little bit. You have to outrun it. I've had that kill me in a run. Like, just being in fire for a couple seconds has ended my run. Uh, let's dodge that volley. This is looking... I mean... Okay. It's looking okay. I think our economy is our strongest point right now. We're going to need to find some more damage in here somewhere. And... Hmm, maybe a little more elemental to make that ice a little... Ew. I think I have to go for all you can eat. This is also a, a perk you don't want to get too many upgrades of because it kind of just does its job. Uh, with each upgrade, it's just going to increase the duration. So four seconds after eliminating an enemy, we're not going to consume any bullets. That's probably all I need. You know what I mean? Do you really need six seconds after killing each enemy? I don't think so. We're killing stuff so rapidly. But there were instances where I was firing bullets before picking that mod up, and that should be a thing of the past. We have reached the ice biome. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for the warm reception on the 60 round video. You guys showed up in spades. That video had more likes than any other in the series so far. And I'm so glad you guys are enjoying Crab Champions as much as me. It's such a silly little fun hearted, light hearted game. I just enjoy it so much. Ooh, damage aura, steady shot or sharp shot. We can increase our flat damage. Shots deal more damage when aiming, but less when hip firing. I've been almost exclusively hip firing. Damage aura sounds nice. Uh, how much damage does it radiate? We haven't picked this up in a video yet. Deal 150 damage per second to nearby enemies. That means I do have to play close if I want to get a lot of value out of it. That might be something I sell at some point, but we'll find out later. The biomes, when you swap over to them, the first couple of rounds kind of go down in difficulty because less enemies are spawning, but it ramps up pretty quickly. That pumpkin got eliminated fast. And we have one ice slug still alive on the other side. Yeah, that's looking, that's looking mighty fine. I don't think my damage aura did anything because I was too far away. Money shot special delivery could be excellent for us because we already have a somewhat decent economy. I'm also going to go for the luck chest here. If I could get penetrating shot, that would be phenomenal for our setup. We also have the ice cave here, so I will wait pa patiently for our friends to arrive. Oh, I d oh, if I stack here, we could damage aura as they're coming around the wall. Yes. If they explode or anything, I'm going to be in trouble, but they're dying before they even reach me now. My combo is increasing. <laughs> so that means we're getting paid more money, but we're not getting paid for money. Oh, shit. Shit. But money shot isn't paying us is what I was going to say. Whew. That got a little spicy at the end. <laughs> they got a little terrifying. Auto loader does what we do already. Ghost damage. The, 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 no, I'm going to salvage these. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We'll take damage over speed. This is another survival level. Uh, we have a really good spot to hold, though. Hey, wait a minute. Do we do it again? Do we re-roll again? I think we do. <laughs> Stay back. There's an achievement to complete the entire game without taking damage. Like, get to level 30 without taking damage. And I feel like if I'm playing with 3 HP the entire time, then that's probably pretty good practice for that achievement. You know what I mean? Probably get that achievement real easy. 13 seconds left on this survival. We are doing very well. Our grenade, I keep forgetting to throw it, even though we have that pretty good upgrade, but our gun is really starting to shine. If we're lucky, oh, I was hoping I could hit a three combo. All right, 50% chance. Coin flip, we lose health. Coin flip, we gain health. Gain. Do I do it again? Loss. Fuck! Ah! <laughs> I should have stopped. I should have stopped. Glue shot. Now we're online. 
Okay, so penetrating shot breaks this. I found out, I did some testing. Penetrating shot does break this. Get a random legendary, but lose half of your health. Yeah, who fucking cares? <laughs> Level up, oh my God. <laughs> so, uh, testing with glue shot or a shot. We've talked about both of these before, but I found out something new. If you have penetrating shot, then the aura no longer sticks to the target like this. We love this stick. That's what scales our damage like crazy. This is what we want. However, if we had penetrating shot, that stick would not happen. Something to keep a lookout for in your own runs. Heavy shot. Shots do more damage, but are heavier. Uh, I'm going to take the silver heart, obviously. Uh, I'm also thinking about taking clip shots, but that would just move the cap up. Um, clip shot is now at a max of 50 bullets. So I don't want any more of those. It's already, I'm already not getting a full benefit out of it. Uh, Grim Reaper could be fantastic. Paycheck is also fantastic. So we have stuff back here I could break. Because theoretically, uh, our HP right now doesn't matter too much if we have Grim Reaper healing. Oh, I have exactly enough for this and exactly enough for that. Oh my God, which one do we pick? I guess I'll get the healing. We can find health. We can find health elsewhere. That's fine. Uh, spike chest. I don't, yeah, sure, actually. Uh, we have to sacrifice some of our life to open up the chest at the end. But with Grim Reaper, we should have enough healing. Oh, one thing I can do with this clip shot too because we basically have all you can eat giving us free ammo all the time. If my first couple of shots, um, if I fire my first couple of shots before an enemy dies, I can just reload and then we still have the duration going. So I can get a higher damage scale out of the clip shot. It's just a couple bullets. I mean, it's only like three damage, but still we're like min maxing just a little bit. Uh, crab coming in hot and hits me with the shotgun blast. Now I do have Grim Reaper, but it's not going to heal up that much damage. Grenades out, there we go. It landed 250 crystals for killing. Oh no, that was my payday, wasn't it? Gemstone supercharged or damage aura. I think gemstone level two. This is going to be giving us uh, damage increased by 10%. So yeah, 10%, and it's already showing us a stack. So it's 5% baseline. So 10% damage increase per level. Shrapnel might kill me. I don't think I need any luck stuff either. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go speed. We already have our ammunition needs taken care of. We don't want penetrating shot because it would break my thing. Scatter shot would have been good. That would come from, oh God. One HP in a dream, let's do it. Oh God, oh, it's going a little crab run. Just, just run, just run, we'll be fine. Just run, everything's okay. Man, I really wish I had my regenerator. Whoa! Shh. Okay, get a little, get a little spicy, get a little spicy here. Elite ant with a big ass volley. We took care of it, I think. Hold on, kite back. We're good. We have healed a decent amount, a couple times. We've got like seventy healing on this level, actually. I am having trouble landing these long range shots just because our projectile speed is so slow. <gasps> no, 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 no. That is something that can be fixed with this speed chest actually. Oh, we got a nice Brock finally. Good. Oh, there's more. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh man, sketchy run. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy run today. Light shot, fire rate increase, but shots deal less damage. Fire rate increase for a short time after eliminating an enemy or more dashes will get adrenaline. This is another one that just increases the duration. So having one of these is all I need. This is also a phenomenal level for Horde because we can stand right here and all of the enemies have to walk up this singular ramp to get to me. I'm gonna reload really fast, do my little trick. We should be pretty safe here. Flyers might be a problem. I'll just periodically check behind me every now and then. We should be able to rack up quite a lot of money here though. I don't know how that crab got up here, to be honest. What I like about this game is over time, I've found these little strategies that work with my play style, like the caves, like this ramp right here. And it's all just from trial and error. I imagine these maps are going to change over time. 
but finding these secrets has been really satisfying. Aura Shot's doing a great job. Our combo is on two, but I think I did take damage, so we're not gonna get the flawless chest. If I can get my combo up to three, we'd be printing some pretty good... Oh, by the way, combos. Let me make sure I explain that. Uh, just in case you don't know how combos work, I don't believe it says anywhere in game. Nice, our attack speed just got upgraded by the level up. Uh, combos are 25 kills in a row without taking damage. That's 10,000 crystals from the large crystal bundle. Holy shit. And we're gonna take it. Heading into the shop. I cannot believe our luck with money this run. Not with health, <laughs> but with juice. Damage, fire rate, and reload speed increased. Sure, let's throw in an arc shot too. Bigger boom and aura grenade for when I throw this thing. Now our grenades have auras too. That means I need blue, to be honest though. Bronze armor, silver armor. Damage increased, but more enemies spawn. Bring it on. I can take it. Crystal combo level two unlocked as well. Silver heart, fireworks shot, layered grenade. Chance for grenades to explode twice. Uh, shots are faster and less affected by gravity. That'll solve our problem. All you can eat level three, we do not need. Fireworks shot, we do not need. I will get increased health. I will get big chests. Stamina, reinforce, get an additional armor plate. Uh, I can't buy both of those, so I won't do that. Silver armor, power armor, ice claws, thorn shot, or lightning shot. Thorn shot just does some damage. And we'll break all this stuff in the back before we move on. This is the level two biome boss. Do I want this? I can technically afford it. No, I think I'm good. I'll hold on to it. Here we go. Now, if I can kill this guy without taking damage, we would get a lot of money. Oh, we got a freeze. Our all you can eat doesn't work on bosses as you. Oh, so close. We just took one hit from underneath us. My all you can eat doesn't work on bosses, but luckily our damage is still pretty okay. I'm going to take the health once again, bring us up to 401 somehow. Uh, Grim Reaper healing, Thorn Shot. I don't think Thorn Shot actually deals much damage. Oh, each thorn deals 500 damage per second, but is it one thorn? Um, I think I'll just get another Grim Reaper. Just in case we do start to get a little clunky in this final one, we did spawn in more enemies after all, so we probably should have some more healing. Our fire rate is so good now with that juice. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, cleared so fast. By the way, sometimes there could be a chest up here. I just found out about this recently. I thought all the bonus chests were on just the ice biome levels. In fact, I was wrong. Bouncing shot could be fun, but we don't have penetrating. So if we miss, we miss anyway. Uh, it does increase damage. It does scale. Yeah, let's go with it. Fine. Talked myself into it. I'm also going to take the damage chest. Keep keep trying to scale that up. If we can get another glue shot, that would be good. Hold the line, boys! All of the crabs are entering from the other island. I'm just going to shoot randomly down and hope for the best. We are hitting most of them, actually. Fire slug there. Oh, God! Where? Where did you come from? How did you sneak by? Gemstone just got upgraded by our level up. This is what's doing that, by the way. I don't know if I explained this well enough. Random mods and perks are upgraded to the next level after every three islands. When you have an inventory full of epics and legendaries like we do right now, it could even potentially scale up my greed, by the way, giving us even more damage. Uh, things do get a little ridiculous. I think I'm gonna take another uh, more damage when hip firing would be good. We'll get that. It's another multiplier. The bouncing shot would be good. We would be stacking it, but because that's a new multiplier, I think that wins out. We have a very long, narrow tunnel to shoot down. I wonder how this will go. <laughs> wow, this is actually starting to pop off. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. 
I'm not going to be able to go to round 60 today. I quite simply do not have the time with this run. However, now that I know you guys are serious about it, I will try to include a round 60 run every week. We'll try to do it every week, uh, if not more, actually. We could start editing down some of our multiplayer runs or something. Crystal combo, I'm going to go for it. Even without getting my combo up again, it's still giving me 60% more enemies, 60% uh, more crystals per enemy, even at combo level one, even without doing anything. Uh, I'm going to take the random over the critical because this run is almost over and I don't have any critical upgrades yet anyway. I should be breaking more of these rocks throughout this run. I haven't been doing that enough as we're going, but I can... Uh, there's a very small chance that you get a bonus item, even without Driller, as long as the round is in play. On the earlier levels, I was trying to avoid it because we had such low HP, but we're kind of past that threshold now. By the way, what does this look like on the YouTube encoder? If you could just leave a little comment down below, like you don't have to timestamp it. So on Twitch, visual clarity goes down pretty rapidly as screen clutter like this happens because bitrate is much lower on Twitch. I stream at 6,000 kibips uh, over on Twitch because that's all they accept. However, for YouTube, I record at 50,000 kibips uh, because I can. <laughs> so theoretically, the visual fidelity should be pretty good, uh, comparatively so, even with this much stuff going on. Uh, I think I'm gonna take yet another crystal combo. We're coming up on our last few rounds, so if I can scale my money going into the final shop, I think that could be really valuable. Reinforced Arcane Blast, Dagger Arc, or Bulletproof. What do we have in the bank? Uh, that's crystals for health? Wait, gain 750 crystals, but lose 33% of your max HP. Yeah, all right. So I do this, 750 crystals, lose 33% of my HP, then we just heal it back up. Then, then we take more damage and we just heal it back up. And then we take more damage and we just heal it back up. I don't want to go too low. I'll do one more and then jump into this. So he just printed a bunch of extra money for us. <gasps> and I actually healed up the full too. Fantastic. Okay, reinforced, I don't think so. Arcane Blast isn't bad and it kind of fits our theme anyway of just kind of putting a bunch of damage down rain. Dagger Rock kind of does the same thing. That's level two, though. Uh, then we have Endurance, Heal After Each Island. Juice! Another Dagger Arc, another Grim Reaper. Ice Cold debuff stacks increased. Oh, I'm broke anyway. I was gonna say, I don't think that'll be that good because our proc chance isn't that good. Uh, I'm gonna go for speed again. We're on the final three combat levels. This is an arena. This is another one of my favorite maps. You just have to shoot at the entryway here. <laughs> we did this the other night when I had the crossbow. Oh, I haven't shown you guys the crossbow yet. The crossbow has like basically, uh, you know my dagger arc, how it's a long flat wide shot that keeps happening periodically. You see it there, that big wide thing, the, the fan of bullets. That's basically what the crossbow does all the time. It's insanely good actually. And I got homing on it. So I just fucking spit right here. This is what it was like. I was just hitting the entire opening of the cave the entire time. It was so good. Uh, stamina more dashes, fast shots, adrenaline, or a rapid fire. That'll give us some more fire rate. I'm going to take the damage over the elemental. I don't think my freeze chance is going to win this run for us or anything. Now we have another arena. This should be the last one. I think it's survival after this. Our shots are looking pretty powerful. I think those gemstones where we scale up our damage after each island are really starting to pay off. It feels like that kept us ahead of the damage curve even before we got damaging items, really. Uh, who's left? More than that. Oh, ooh, there's the elite. What were you guys doing on this side of the map? I haven't even been over there. Wow, we killed that elite fast. That damage is really good. I'm also thinking about jumping up to Nightmare difficulty soon. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. I've never won a Nightmare run. Damage shot. Shots deal more damage. I'm gonna take the skill chest over the spike chest because there is a very, very small chance. It's the best map, oh my God. There's a very, very small chance that the 
skill chest could give me homing shots. And that's a risk I'm willing to take, especially in our final combat round. If I could get homing shots, that would be insane. It wouldn't be 100% or anything. I would imagine it's like a one in three chance for our shot to go to an enemy with this gun or something. Maybe that's even being generous. But the guaranteed damage means our crystal combo would start popping off. By the way, look at our money now with level three crystal combo. We are going to make a lot of bank if no one makes their way inside here. I'm about to hit combo level four. Any moment, I'm sure. Get that guy back. Oh, skull in the back. Be careful. Okay, maybe I was further away from combo four than I thought. Maybe 25 kills takes longer than I thought. Oh my God. Jeez. Okay, we printed so much extra cash. Now you know how this is gonna go. All you can eat, Big Mag or Grip Tape. Big Mag would actually scale our damage because of clip shots. We can now take one more clip shot because we've passed its stacking limit. Gemstone doesn't help us. Paycheck doesn't help us. Targeting shot doesn't help us. <laughs> Triple shot might be okay. It's a chance to fire three shots instead of one. Bronze heart, vitality, time bolt, bouncing shot, and bulletproof. I'll take another bouncing shot. Fortitude, gemstone supercharged for the attack speed increase. Uh, Reroll it one more time. It broke. Grim Reaper, adrenaline, gemstone, sharp claws. And I, well, I need gemstone. What can I get rid of? I can get rid of paycheck. I can get rid of crystal combo. I can get rid of sharp claws. I don't even know how I got that. Uh, and I can get rid of special delivery now too. Is that gonna be enough? Yes, it is. We will buy the split shot. Now we send extra bullets off in random directions. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys for joining me for this run. We will do longer ones in the future. Today is the Diablo server slam start. So I'm really excited about that. Gonna be joining my friends for some four player co-op and don't have too much time before that starts. Can we beat the King's Skull? He is pretty hard if he starts shooting abilities at us. As you can see, this fire literally could kill me. That's what I was afraid of. But no, that damage is unstoppable. Woo! We scaled and we conquered. What are you tempting me with? Exploding enemies, poison storm, another level up. Ooh. <laughs> All right, boys, that's going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And we will be back soon with more Crab Champions.